What up, nerds? Welcome back to a Day of the Tentacle. Today, we're finishing the game. We're about 75% of the way through per the game. 76%, I think. But we're going to go ahead and finish it. So now, we're going to save the world from the evil purple tentacle. All we got to do is get Laverne and Hoagie back here into our time. So now, what we need to do is send uh, a couple of things to Hoagie, um, including this flyer. And the help one. Oh, I gotta go. I should have known. Eric, you've been here long enough. You should know. Pick up the flyer. All right, now we're gonna go back to Bernard. And then, Bernard, you're gonna flip, flush the help wanted sign. And then, old hoaxer here is gonna pick up that, too. Because we got two places to go. We gotta meet up with old Red Edison. And then, we gotta meet up with Ben Franklin. You remember early on in the game, we sent Ben Franklin inside because uh, we washed the carriage and it caused the rainstorm to happen. Or the thunderstorm to happen. So he's inside being himself. We're going to go deal with that. Alrighty, we're going to go down here. We're going to give him the flyer for the vi uh, vacuum. And that he'll create a vacuum, in the f which we'll need in the future for LeBron. I don't want to. Give it to him, you idiot. I don't want to. Oh, God. Okay, first I have to do this. Watch this. You forgot. Mm. Help one other way around. Moronic drone, mm, assist genius, and yada yada yada. Well, I'm the only genius around, and you look dumb enough. <laughs> uh. So pick up your lab coat and get to work. Okay, now I can pick up the lab coat. And now we'll give him the flyer. I don't want. Give him the flyer, you fucking idiot. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Hoagie. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. I gotta remember, I feel like the flyer has to go to him. He has to make it, right? I'd be crazy to think that... Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter right now. It doesn't matter. So now let's go talk to Ben Franklin. I'm pretty sure I have to give him the flyer for the vacuum. And he will um, help me out by creating vacuum. I got something good for you, mister. Uh, mister. <laughs> mister Brainstorm? Yes, hand it over. Mister Brainstorm. Hmm. Doesn't this belong to somebody? Yeah, Red Edison. Ah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the man has no vision. A lightweight, durable fabric like this going to waste down in his basement. When I'm done with it, it will fly. Hmm. Eureka! The all-season Francocopter ready to Franco make history. Copter. The Francocopter. Hopefully it's not the James Francocopter. <laughs> no, there's no fuse. So, what do I light? For the last <laughs> time, you're not going to light anything. You just push it. The whole time? How am I <laughs> going to get up that high? Listen, just wait for me to say the word now. Then push the kite into the air, all right? I'm on you, lasagna. I'm on you, lasagna. Let's hope so. All right, so before he does that, we need to use the battery with the kite. Because we need to get struck by lightning, and then it'll be charged. No! All right, there you go. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we. She's handling kind of funny. You got it. Just hang on there. She's too heavy. I can't control her. <laughs> hang on, Ben. Hang on. She's breaking up. She's breaking up. <laughs> Run for your lives. Run for your lives. Later that day, it always makes you think, like, how long were we out there for? Now that was interesting. Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now so I can study the results. Wish me luck. <laughs> Good thing he dropped it. I never got your name. It's Hoagie, sir. Hoagie. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. <laughs> Gosh, thanks. Gosh, thanks. All right, so we have our charged battery. Hoagie can get back to the proper timeline. So let's go ahead and plug this battery in. Let's plug this bitch in. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, let's go back to Bernard. Um, let's think, think about what we need to do here. Um... Oh, that's right. That's right. I'm, I'm putting the flyer in the wrong place. Okay. Putting the flyer in the wrong place. If you haven't figured it out, 
after watching this video so far, I am looking at a walkthrough. <laughs> So if you want to know, sometimes it, there have been technical issues. I've had the game like kind of freeze up at times and stuff, but sometimes the cuts are just me going like, uh, yep. Uh, I gotta look at the walkthrough or go to the next page or whatever. Here we go. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Boy, it's sure quiet in here. I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. Maybe somebody should take a look. <laughs> I say, lads, I have an idea. Does it have anything to, to, to do with starting a fire? fire? No. John Adams, such I a wuss. I was wuss. thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Don't you agree? Sure, George, if you say so. Yes, whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. So this is going to create a vacuum in the future. What's he thinking? No one of any in the lab in Laverne's all day. and now what we can get hers charged and then once we do that he intends to suggest we're good to go we'll get himself. everybody back in oh ah here's a suggestion it says George says that every American should have a vacuum <laughs> cleaner in their basement <laughs> what do you think gentlemen what's a vacuum cleaner <laughs> mm, whatever you say George your name's on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. Yes, it's strange. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution immediately. No? Good, and so shall it be law. What's a vacuum cleaner? <laughs> Magic. <laughs> you suck. Ah. All right, Hoagie, go on and get out there. Get out there. Get to your chrono, John. We're going to get Laverne out of here, and we're going to be good to go. And then we can be in the last little part of the game. All right, bud. You just hang out here. All right, Laverne. Use... Let's... Uh, uh, Built-in shot vac. Use it with the hole. <laughs> Did we get a Laverne smile? Yep. <laughs> Abracadabra. <Whoop. laughs> we won't get punched in the stomach anymore now that the, the boxing glove's out. Let's open the hatch. Get our little hamster friend. Dust ball. <laughs> okay, now we can put him on there without getting fucking sucker punched. Well, well, all right. Look at that sucker go. <laughs> he just keeps running and running and running. I keeps playing sound cues that I don't think it's supposed to. That's funny though. Okay, so let's open the window. Oh, I, I, oh, I have to go outside. Oh, wait, no, no, no. It's already open. Uh, use the extension cord with the window. It's already open. I couldn't tell. There we go. All right, let's get out of the future and get everybody back into one timeline so we can take on the purple tentacle. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, Laverne. Laverne and Shirley, use the extension cord with the plug. We did it. Hmm? Da, 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 da. <laughs> All right, let's uh, use the toilet. Uh, wait, hold on. Oops. Let's, uh, no. Chrono John, let's use the Chrono John. Well, I'm all ready to go, but I guess I have to wait for Bernard and Hoagie. Oh, yeah, Bernard. So Bernard has to do something now. So if you remember at the beginning of the game, uh, we had a giant, he used a fake diamond, and that's what caused it to have all the uh, time travel issues. So now, uh, we have to go buy the diamond. So uh, let's go... Get, uh, actually, here, hold on. I think I already have everything. Sign card, use the stamp with the signed contract. There we go. Uh, so we're gonna, oh, nope, sorry, gotta go back down. We gotta send this to Hogan. He's gotta put it in the mailbox. So that way we uh, have enough. Go ahead and flush this. What does that say? LucasArts, San Remy, San Remy, California. That's funny, okay. So go ahead and pick this up, uh, pick up. 
So now we're going to use a little time travel and get it to go through time. Okay, and I think I already used the, uh, I think I already looked at the TV, so I know about the diamond, uh, which it even talks about in the beginning of the game. So let's open the mailbox. Let's put in the signed contract. And, whoop. <laughs> I love his hair. That's funny. Yes, what do you want? Hi there. Is this Dr. Fred Edison? Who did you think you called? Dr. Spock? Look, <laughs> I don't have all day. This is Farley Crock at LucasArts Games. I just discovered your contract among some very old files, and, well, our lawyers say that we uh, have to pay you $2 million in back royalties. <laughs> Uh, for the use of your family in the Maniac Mansion video game. What? <laughs> this is Farley Crock. No, I heard that, you moron. <laughs> when do I get my money? Oh, right now. It's been credited to your Swiss bank account. Swiss bank account. Operator, get me a travel agent. This <laughs> is an emergency. You've gotten the hell out of here. All right, good job, Hoagie. Let's go back to the time machine because now we can buy the diamond. So I think I've already looked at the ad. I've already looked at the TV that's talked about getting the diamond for so much money. All right, Bernardo. All right, let's go make a phone call. Let's use the phone. Couch Potato Shopping Channel. <laughs> Wanda speaking. Um, uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's eight four six four two seven three five three two seven. Very good, sir. We'll send the diamond by pronto post light speed delivery immediately. <laughs> Thank you for calling. Thank God it comes so quick. <laughs> now that service. <laughs> so I got the hole from when I fell through the ground. Should be dead. I better get this to Dr. Fred right away. We're doing it. We're bringing everybody back. That should do it. Where did you get this diamond anyway? Uh, it was donated by a group of Girl Scouts who were in the neighborhood. <laughs> How heartwarming. According to my instruments, everything is in readiness. Your friends have activated their units, so it's time to throw the switch. Great. Let's do this, nerds. Oh. Hoagie. Hoagie. I'm so happy to... Laverne. <laughs> Boing. Hi. Laverne. Wow. I'm so glad you two made it back okay. I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose. Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back to yesterday to turn <laughs> off the Sledgeomatic. Huh? Say what? Now <laughs> hold on a minute, Dr. Fred. They just barely made it back to our time alive, and I think... <laughs> Uh-oh. You can't turn off the machine if I get there first. Oh, no. Uh, don't uh -oh. worry, guys. <laughs> this time I know I can stop him. And now we only have one. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I guess uh -oh. we better do something. Let's go. No! <laughs> no. You can't all go in the same store. <laughs> Didn't you see the fly? <laughs> oh no, green tentacle. Uh oh. What happened? <laughs> we're. We're. We're some kind of monster, dude. <laughs> Great. Stuck here the rest of my life listening to Bernard talking and watching Hoagie eat. <laughs> Mom warned me there'd be days like this. Now, wait just a minute. It's <laughs> perfect. It's green tentacle. Green tentacle. What was that green? <laughs> what? I believe he's trying to warn you about me. <laughs> oh. Oh. We're going to turn off the sludge matic and defeat your evil plan, overgrown worm. Overgrown you sorry, worm. You are no match for me. 
But there's three of us. Well, sort of. Nevertheless, I mean to crush you. Yeah? You and what army? <laughs> Why, this army, of course. Oh my god. There's so many of them. Yikes. You see, I've been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using the chrono job. Together, <laughs> we will conquer the world. You ten there. <laughs> you ten. Go to the basement and guard the sludge-o-matic. There's a funny thing with the ten of them later. There's a reason they, that he asked for ten of them. I don't want to watch all of them leave, but I guess we have to. No one is to touch the sludge-o-matic. Now, creature, I must decide what excruciating tortures to <laughs> leave them to me. <laughs> oh no. It's old tentacle. I've been itching for a chance to test out my newly completed diminuator. Diminuator. Uh oh. Excuse me. Um, us. <laughs> We're tiny. We're tiny. <laughs> All right. The rest of you come with me. Next stop, the world. Next stop, the world. What do we do now? Oh no, we're tired. Oh, Whoa. now we're big again. It wears off. <laughs> Aha! He's so Run slow. Run for it! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Is that a juice? The battery must not have had time to recharge, but it will. It will. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta run. Shh. Maybe he won't find us. <laughs> you who? Where are you, human? I can't believe he didn't just look in the door. All right. Open the middle door. I mean, uh, I know to open the middle door. Blast. Aha. Aha. Uh oh. Why'd we run up to him? That. <laughs> and this. Drat. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Ching, ching. All right, let's go through the mouse hole. We need something here. Uh, the bowling ball. We need to get bigger. Uh, so we gotta wait. I think we just gotta wait until we get back to normal height. Which should happen at some point. There we go. Pick up the bowling ball. Alright, let's open the door. He shouldn't be here. Hey! He's gone. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Come on. <laughs> Sometimes the clicking is like the candy machine was in the way. Alright, let's go down here. Now, let's play a little game of bowling. <laughs> And get knocked down, you nerds. Strike. <laughs> Great. Now we can turn off the machine and prevent all this tentacle mayhem from ever happening. Ooh. Well, I'm certainly glad that's over with. Same. Yeah, let's get out of here. Leaving so soon, we haven't had the chance to get to know one another. Oh no, not again. You humans are so short-sighted. <laughs> Eek! Eek. <laughs> no, he cut it back on, you old bastard. <laughs> Run all you like, you insignificant insect. You can't stop me. All right, let's talk. Just what is it you have against humans anyway? Humans are our oppressors. They made us live in this horrible <laughs> motel. They created us in ungainly forms so we could not rise against them. Try walking around with your legs tied together <laughs> and glue on your shoes. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> uh, sound like Sounds that. like that's all Dr. Fred's fault, really. 
Hmm, I suppose you're right about that. I didn't start out hating all humans, <laughs> just Dr. Fred. Yeah, Dr. Fred kind of sucks. You're pretty handy with that ray gun. Center of the forehead every time. <laughs> Would you like a demonstration? Uh... Why don't you zap Dr. Fred if you hate him so much? Hmm, perhaps that would be entertaining. Center the forehead every time. <laughs> Boing, gotcha, bitch. Oh, drat. Hmm. Uh, surely we can talk this out. Hmm. Talk? Surely. <laughs> oh, got his ass. He did. Wait. No, no. <laughs> you haven't heard the last of me. I'll be back, and the next time, the world and all its piffling inhabitants shall be mine. All mine. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we sending him? All mine. Okay, little fella. Mail this to Siberia. Siberia. <laughs> and the sludge matic is gone. Yeah, look at him go. Not sure why that didn't happen the first time, but whatever. Yay! The water's back to normal. Our work here is done. Now we can go home. <laughs> but we're still one person. Epilogue. Well, kiddies, it's been more fun than a jumpsuit full of weasels. Now, <laughs> kindly get your freakish hide out of my home. Please, Dr. Fred, you've got to get us out of this mess. We look terrible, and we can't buy clothes off the rack. <laughs> I'm getting sort of used to it. Maybe we could go on the talk show circuit. Help us, Dr. Edison. <laughs> You're no. our only hope. <laughs> oh, all right. The Star Wars hmm. reference. <laughs> Just had that sitting around. <laughs> Idiots! It seems you're not exactly the sideshow attraction you imagined. You're just three complete goofballs stuck in one suit of clothes. <laughs> Embarrassment. Vern's like, why did I have to do that? Uh oh, Hoagie's getting him a feel. <laughs> we did it. Well, I'm glad that's taken care of. Looks like everything's back to normal. We did it. We did it. That was Day of the Tentacle, one of my favorite point click adventure games from my childhood, and we beat it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's going to play the credits now, but I'm going to leave. Uh, thank you for watching. I, I know only a few people watch this, but I wanted to play all the way through it because I truly enjoy this game. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I will see you in another game sometime, maybe. Who knows? Okay, bye. <laughs>